Hi guys, welcome to The Explanation Pro. Today I'm going to explain an American action, adventure film called, The Maze Runner. Spoilers incoming. The movie starts with a boy on an old elevator that is going up, and an unknown creature bumps in his sight that scares him and makes him shout for help. The elevator stops, and he sees few men staring at him. One boy says that it is his first day, and when he gets up, he runs, and everyone is laughing, and one shouts that they got a runner. The boy runs faster and stumbles, and then when he gets up, that's the time he realizes that there's no way out. The boy is locked in a small pit, and someone approaches him. The man opens the hole and asks the boy questions like knowing where he came from and his name. The boy says that he can't remember anything and is confused about how it is possible. The man says that it is normal, for they also have gone through with that. Apparently, they will remember their names a day or two, which is the only thing left with them. Someone called the man Albie and called the boy, Green Bean. Albie introduces Newt as he is in charge if Albie is not around. Newt praises Green Bean for his fast dash, becoming a runner. Green Bean still doesn't know why he should be a runner, and Albie just explained that they have a plan that night. The two went to a treehouse, and Albie says hope that he's not afraid of heights. They looked around, and Green Bean asked what was behind those walls, but Albie didn't answer his question. Instead, he says that he has to obey three rules to be in peace. First is to do your part as told, second is never harm any gladiator, and the third is never go beyond those walls. After the tour with Albie, he meets Chuck, who is making a hammock for, Greeny, another alias of the boy. Chuck says that it is the same experience for all of them. No one can remember anything. With Greeny's curiosity, he went near the wall, and he says that he would only look at what was beyond the wall, and some men came outside. He couldn't resist stepping when Chuck said that it was some maze. A boy named Gally pushes him back, making him angry, and Albie says that he should calm down. Then they hear screeches, and that is also when the small way of the wall closes. With his upset tone, Gally said that he would let him do what he wanted next time. Albie just said to him as welcome to the gladiator. Night came, and they were having a bonfire, and like they were celebrating. Greeny sits down with Newt, and they have a chit-chat. Newt gives him a drink and says it was Gally's recipe, and Greeny says that Gally is still an asshole, but Newt defends Gally as he saved Greeny's life. Newt pointed to someone and introduced him as Minho, the keeper of the runners. Newt explained that runners went into the maze and memorized it. Greeny asks how long they are running there, and Newt replies that it has been three years because the maze changes every night. Greeny asks if he wants to be a runner, and Newt replies that no one wants to be a runner, and runners are chosen. Enough of their chit-chat. They stand up, walk to different packs, and introduce the keepers of different roles. And suddenly, he bumped with Gally's opponent in a battle. Gally asks if he wants to try the game, and everyone cheers for him as Greeny, and he says that he doesn't call them Greeny. They start to battle. Greeny makes Gally fall, but Gally counterattacks him, remembering his name. He shouted Thomas, and that is his name. Everyone loudly screams his name and congratulates him for remembering. Gally gave him a hand and welcomed him as Thomas. As they were celebrating, a loud roaring sound interrupted them. Gally explains that those are what they call grievers and why they are not going beyond those walls. Thomas always dreams, and Albie wakes him up and makes him grave his name on one part of the wall. There are so many names that are crossed, and Albie explains that bad times happened. Thomas suggests ways to escape their cage, but Newt replies that they have done all of the things on his mind and want to be helpful. Newt asks to get some fertilizer. Thomas went into the woods, searched for fertilizers, and saw a grave and a skeleton there. Then Ben is also there, and when he asks for some help, Ben attacks him. Thomas fought and ran and asked for some help. They hold Ben, and Albie asks to lift Ben's shirt, and Albie says that he was stung and could be dangerous. Albie explained to Thomas that they call, the changing. Thomas asked what would happen to Ben, and the next thing he knew was that they were making Ben leave and forcing him to enter the maze when it was about to close. Gally then crosses Ben's name on the wall. Thomas wakes up again from his dream, and there are images of scientists and a woman saying that change is coming and another woman's voice saying, wicked is good. He saw that the walls were opening and saw that Albie was entering the maze with Minho, and he asked Newt why. Newt just replied that Albie knows what he is doing because he is the first gladiator from the box and has seen everything since then. The boys are waiting for Albi and Minho to get out of the maze, for it is closing time, and when the two are near their way back, they are struggling because Albi has been stung. Thomas runs and enters the maze, and Minho congratulates him for seeing his death. Minho says that they should be leaving Albi because grievers are there and the maze will change, but Thomas insists that they should not leave Albi. Thomas and Minho tie up Albi, and they pull him up to the wall, and when they are about to tie the rope, Minho runs because a griever is coming their way. Thomas hides as he holds the string and the griever passes as it doesn't notice or see him. He finally ties the rope, and a griever above him is ready to attack. 
He runs as fast as he can, and he meets Minho halfway. They both run to escape the griever, and when Minho finds a way to hide, Thomas waits for the griever to chase him and runs fast as he can. Chuck is on the wall waiting for them to survive the night, and Newt said that they won't, and when they turned around, they saw the three of them coming. Chuck asks Thomas if he saw a griever, and Minho answers that Thomas didn't see one, but he killed it. The men are discussing if Thomas will be punished for violating the rule. Gally says that he should be punished, and Newt asks Minho for he is with them. Minho says that Thomas should be a runner and when the commotion about the discussion, they hear a familiar sound. They ran towards the box, and saw a girl lying with a piece of paper in her hand. Newt gets the paper, and it says, she's the last one, ever. The girl suddenly opens her eyes, exhales, and utters Thomas, and is knocked out again. The boys looked at Thomas, and Gally confirmed that he overthinks that changes had happened to them when Thomas came. Thomas eagerly says that he is going back to find the maze, and Minho says some runners back off, and he wants to go there. Thomas says that they might find a clue there, dissect the griever if necessary and Minho was convinced and called for other runners. They found something on the griever and got it. They went on a discussion, and Newt's final decision was to confine Thomas for a day and make him an official runner. Minho toured Thomas to a place where they have to build and visualize the maze. Minho says that there's no way out and keeps it a secret, but when they find their first clue, maybe there is a way out. Their conversation is interrupted when Chuck says that the girl is awake. When they went to see the girl, she threw everything for she was on the treehouse, and when Thomas said his name, the girl calmed down, and Thomas went up. The girl is holding a messer, and Thomas says that everyone does not remember anything, including their names, but the girl says she remembers her name, and it is Teresa. Teresa says she can't remember him, but she always calls his name on her dreams, and they are having the same dreams, and two injections are in her pockets. The next day, Thomas and Minho are ready to take a run on the maze, and they discover that their clue is also a key to a passage that they didn't know. They run back as the zone is closing, and Minho says not to look back and just run. They went back and told the news. When they were arguing, Teresa interrupted them, saying that Albi was awake and recovered because Teresa injected him with the injection she had. Teresa says that Albi isn't saying anything, and he talks to Albi, asking why Thomas went up in the glade. Then suddenly, Chuck calls them because the gate won't close, and when they go out, more gates are opened. Everyone is in panic when they hear the grievers screeching, and suddenly, grievers approach. They all run, and Thomas says to hide. Distractions happen, and when they are hiding, Albi is captured by one of the grievers. After they didn't hear any grievers sound, they went out in there. Gally approached Thomas and punched him, saying that it was Thomas's fault. Thomas says that maybe it is his fault, and he needs to remember and then injects the last injection to himself. Thomas remembers pieces of his past that they are there for a test, and he is one of the scientists so is Teresa. They decided to go out to the maze, but Gally had to pass through. Gally says that they are going to be dead if they enter it. Some decide to stay, and some go with Thomas. They start their journey on the maze with Minho telling directions. They are facing many grievers, and they lost some fallen comrades. Thomas gave Chuck their key, and when they are battling the grievers, Chuck slips their key, and when it is about to fall, he grabs it, but a griever is greeting him below, and luckily, Teresa pulls him up. They open the gate, but there's still a puzzle, and Teresa asks that they need some password to open the gate with eight numbers, and Thomas asks Minho for the sequence of the zone. Minho is trying to give the sequence, but he is almost captured by one of the grievers. Jeff bravely fights it with his spear, and Minho gets out, but Jeff is captured. They are already safe from the grievers, and they enter away, leading them to the laboratory. Thomas pushes some buttons, and there's a recorded video of someone named Dr. Ava Page introducing their operations. It is said that they are monitored and put to the test with a harsher environment, for the world is like in an apocalypse situation where the sun scorches the surface of the world they called the phenomena, the flare. She also explained that an incurable virus spreads, and they are very important and congratulated them for passing the test. The video continues as the military ambushes the lab, and Dr. Page shoots herself. When they were about to leave, Gally was there holding a gun. He says that they belong to the maze and anything out there is a disaster. Thomas tries to calm him down, but he doesn't listen, and when he shoots the gun, Minho shoots him with a spear. Chuck was shot, and authorities got them. The movie ends where they are in a helicopter, and they see the maze. Dr. Page is now walking towards a chair, wiping blood on her head and saying that Thomas never fails her. She says they have done it so the survivors would be less angry with them and think that way. She ends her speech that they should be preparing for phase 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.